Welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom. So um, tonight we got kind of an interesting experiment that we're going to do. Um, the other day when I started working on this um, X-ray transformer plug, which was a uh, 18 millimeter by one thread pitch that we're going to single point in the lathe, um, I made the comment during the video that uh, when you're cutting metric threads with a lathe with an inch lead screw, you need to keep the half nuts engaged uh, during the whole threading process. Um, well, technically this is true. Um, there is a practical way actually to disengage the half nut and uh, allow you to run up to a shoulder and disengage the half nut. So it's actually a practical solution to the problem. Um, this was um, pointed out to me by a viewer um, and I'll post the link to the, uh, the article uh, at the end of the video here so you guys can read the article that he, he put a link up to. Um, and in this case, I do have to run up to a shoulder, so it's a bit of a problem to stop the machine and, uh, and pull out of the thread uh, all at the same time. Well, this is actually a very practical solution to the problem. So what I want to do is I want to demonstrate that. I tried it already, and it works wonderfully, or it seems to work wonderfully. Um, so I'm going to, we'll go over to the lathe, we're going to cut a test thread and I'll show you a couple different shots of the, uh, the half nuts and the practical application of this, of this technique. And I have to say this is just what I love about this, this whole process is that um, I've been doing this stuff for years and I still learn stuff all the time. So this is a great little, um, a great little trick and uh, it never even crossed my mind before to try this. Um, you know, usually you want to get in there and just get the job done, you know, when you're, uh, when you're, you're getting paid to do the work. Uh, you just get it done the, the way you know how and the quickest way. So you don't always have uh, uh, the opportunity to explore uh, different ideas. Well, here in my play shop, I get to try that kind of stuff and it's great. So uh, let's uh, pop over to the lathe and we'll get the blank set up and uh, we'll go through that process and I'll demonstrate this uh, uh, metric threading with an inch lead screw. Okay, so here's our victim here. Uh, it's just a piece of bronze rod. And uh, so I'm going to prepare the blank uh, kind of like I did for this one. So this is the little sample piece that I tried. And uh, I disengaged the half nut with this technique uh, multiple times and uh, the thread came out nearly perfect. So, uh, and I wasn't trying very hard. I just wanted to make sure that I got the uh, the moves down. So let's uh, let's prep this blank here. I'm going to cut a thread relief in this particular one here. Let's uh, let's go to there. Just going to touch off. Alright, 
so let me, uh, I'm going to change the, uh, the settings here. Um, let's see, what do I want here? Let's do 200 RPM. Something like that. Let's see what that looks like. Sure, why not? Alright, I'm going to verify my gearbox settings. E, E, H, B, E, E, H, one. Okay, so that should be one millimeter pitch there. Okay, so um, let's see, how should I show this here? I think what I'll do is, uh, hmm. I'll come down to the, uh, I'm going to come down to the, uh, the chasing dial here and show you the chasing dial on the first engage and then uh, we'll come back to this, okay? Okay, so here we're looking at the, uh, um, the thread chasing dial and then this is the half nut lever here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on, just because it's easy to remember here, we're going to start on line one. Um, I don't want to mark it. It's easy enough to see it. Okay, uh, so I'm going to start the lathe, and then I'm going to engage the half nut when the one line comes up to the pointer here. Okay, and that'll be my first pass. Uh, my first pass. It'll be a scratch pass here. I'm just going to go in a couple of thousands, and it'll be my scratch pass to confirm my uh, my gearbox settings. Okay, but we're going to use the same technique when we come out, and you'll see that in just a sec. Okay, so here we go. And you'll watch, okay, so we're coming around to one. And then uh, when one comes up, I'm going to engage the, okay, so now we're getting ready, we're threading. Here we go. There it goes. And when I come up to my relief, I'm going to pull out, and I just very calmly stop the machine. So I release the lever, okay. I came up to my thread relief, okay, and I just very calmly release the lever and you can see that I've overshot here. Now here's the trick part is I've I've backed out. Now I'm going to put it in reverse, okay? I'm putting it in reverse and you see it's coming up to one again. Well, I'm going to re-engage and come out now. So technically I'm in the same groove, okay? All right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to do that again. Just so you guys can see it. So now, I'm, well, okay, Mr. Wizard, check the thread pitch. Okay, that looks good. All right. So we're going to come in and we're going to do another, let's go into 10 thousandths, okay. All right, and we're going to, so now I'm engaged again. I'm engaged in line one, right? So here we go, our second pass. There's the cut, it's tracking. Disengage, stop the machine, and I've backed out. Okay, I'm clear. Now I'm going to come back, reverse, re engage, and I'm coming back out. Okay, so what's going on here is I'm still in groove one. Okay, even though I've been engaging and disengaging the half nut. The trick is that um, we're not moving the carriage in between, okay, and um, we're, we're using this to track where we were, okay. Um, so now let's maybe come up on top. Let me do, I'm going to do that one more time, okay, and then I'm going to come up on top and you can actually see the cut. Let's uh, go back in. Let's go to 15, okay. All right. And here we go, cutting. And it's tracking beautifully. Disengage, pull out, stop the machine. You know, technically that there's no reason to stop the machine in a hurry as long as I don't do multiple revolutions, right? Okay. So I'm clear. Let me make sure. Reverse. Re-engage. And come out. And I can just let it coast to a stop and when I come back out because there's nothing in the way. Okay, so let me change the camera around. We'll come back up on top and yeah, you guys can see it from the top side. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to come in. Let's see, my last cut was at 15. 
I'm going to go to 20. Okay. All right, my half nut's engaged. <laughs> and uh, so we're just going to go ahead. And as soon as I fire up, it's going to start, it's going to start tracking, okay? There it goes. And you can see I went right back in the groove. So I'm going to come out. I disengaged my half nut. And I want to make sure I back up so that I'm clear. And now I'm going to reverse and drop back in with the half nut. Okay. And there it tracks on the way out. Okay. What was I? Uh, 20. Let's go 25. Okay. Uh, let's get a little uh, lubrication there. Okay. So I'm clear. All right, I'm going to go in reverse. Re-engage. Track back out. Okay, and one more time. Um, I don't remember where I was. Let's go to 30, just because. I don't even have, there's no rush, okay? There's nothing exciting going on. You just gotta get the sequence down, okay? And, uh, and not get confused. <laughs> okay, re-engage in my line, come back out. And all is good, okay? Okay, so let's show it from a little farther away this time. So my last pass is at 30. I'm going to go to 40. Okay, half nuts engaged. We're on line one. I'm clear of the part. Okay, and you see I coasted a little bit past and I'm disengaged now. Okay, reverse. Re-engage. And we're 40 before. Let's do 45. Okay, one in. Come back up here for one more view up here because the thread's pretty much to depth now, pretty close anyway, and uh, we'll get a look at it. And uh, I think that's it. Um, yeah, let's clear out of there. Okay, so there's our. Uh, let me kick it into neutral there. There's our thread, and. Uh, handy. Anyway, uh, you can see that obviously it tracked well and, uh, and it came out real nice. Um, so the technique works. It's just the sequence. So try it out. So now you can, you can thread with an inch lead screw lathe up to a shoulder without danger of crashing into the shoulder um, or doing anything bad that way. 
Um, you just got to remember, yes, you still have to stay on the same line, but you can temporarily uh, disengage it. So that's the key here. Okay, so that concludes this, uh, this little uh, demonstration um, of this uh, new thing that I learned. Um, anyway, uh, I'll post a link, like I said, the, uh, to the, the article where you guys can, um, can read the whole article for yourself. Um, anyway, like I said, this is what I love about this kind of stuff is uh, people post things and, uh, from other sources and, uh, and uh, old dogs can learn new tricks. And, uh, anyway, um, thank you guys very much for posting the, uh, posting the link. Now I have a new tool in my toolbox, and you know how much I love tools, so thanks for watching.